So this is a Shevlin Mono 2 NVN for sale at Anglo Swiss Tools. I'll put a link into the uh, website in the in the description. Um, it's a 1986 machine, all metric. Um, has been in the hands previously in the hands of a of a clockmaker. Um, I believe for well over 30 years. Not machine sure whether he bought the machine new, but certainly. Um, the uh, machine can't have been very old when, when he bought it. So it's uh, it's got a, uh, a two-speed motor um, and a variator and a clutch and brake. So I'll show you the, uh, the machine, uh, the spindle operating now. Uh, at the moment it's set at, uh, it's got speeds from 270 to 3000 RPM on the, uh, without the back gear. And with the back gear engaged, that gives you a 4.5 to 1 reduction, I believe it might be 5 to 1, I'll, I'll check. Um, and uh, so it gives you another another range of, of slow speeds for screw cutting and uh, operations such as that. Um, it's equipped with a feeds gearbox, giving you feeds, I believe, from 0.02 millimetres per revolution. To 0.0 to, to 0.3 millimeters uh, per revolution. Um, so we will start the machine up, and I'll show you some of the features on it. So this is uh, that's the slower speed at the moment set, 500 RPM on the variator. So that's 500 RPM, and that's 1,000 RPM. So I'll just go back to the slower speed, and we'll show you the, the feeds operating. So at the moment the machine is, uh, we just put it into its forward operation feeds and that's on its highest feeds gearbox setting, we can turn it down, so that's gone down to uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.08, 0 0.06, 0 0.04, 0 0.03 and 0 0.02. You can see it's barely moving at that speed. When you speed up, you can see it's moving just a bit faster. There's also a, uh, a, a there's also a, a knockout stop. So um, I'll just take the speeds up to a higher speed to, so you can see that operating. So as we come up towards the operating stop, which is just here, I'll put in a little video just to show that operating. Uh, as the machine comes up, that just operates the lever and disengages the feed. Um, if we um, now put the machine into its, into the feed into its reverse position, you can see the feed just running back. Go to the neutral position of the feet. So I'll show the variators to operating. So um, well, first of all, I'll show you the clutch and brake. So that's it. Uh, we're operating there at a uh, uh, thousand RPM. Uh, on the clutch and brake disengages. And the spindles stop there. Uh, Back on again, uh, same the lower speeds, of course. Uh, while we're on this speed, we'll also engage the back gearing. So that's one of the lower speeds, the lower speeds, and that's in the higher speed range. So I'll take the speed, speed right the way down to its slowest. So that will be, that's, a, uh, that's indicating 270 RPM on here, but of course we've got the back gear engaged, so we're four and a half times slow on the, on the back gear. Uh, we can easily go into the high speed range, which would be 540. So that's doing somewhere around about 100 RPM, something like that. 
just over 100 out here, 120 so far. So again, clutch and brake operates. Okay, so let's go into the normal speed range again. So, so that's on the slower range, that's on the higher range. I turn the speed right the way up to its highest speed. So that's at 540 RPM at the moment, and we're moving up to the highest, highest speed. So that's about 750. It's about 1,000. It's about 1,500. That's about 2,000. 2,500 and 3,000 RPM. As you hear the machine's not overly noisy at 3000 RPM. And if we operate the motor to its slow speed, that gives us 1500 RPM. So there's two range of speeds all the way through the range of the variator. And again, clutch and brake works perfectly at this speed, instantaneously stopping the machine. Let's drop the speed back down again, take it down to a lower range and drop it right the way through the speed to its lowest speed. So that's about a thousand. That's five hundred. And there we are down to its lowest speed of 270 without a bank gear of course. So the spindle on this machine can be locked in position using the locking mechanism here and there's also a dividing apparatus on the back end of the, uh, of the, of the pulley which allows you to, um, to divide I believe the, the, the outer holes are 120 but uh, I can check that in the, in the manual. Um, so I think that concludes it more or less just to say that um, that uh, the machine is quite well equipped. It's got a face plate, full set of change wheels, fixed steady, travelling steady, tripan tool post here, and, uh, and uh, tooling in the uh, in the cupboard here. Uh, plus there's also a set of uh, a full set of of collets um, from 0.5 millimeter to 20 millimeters in. 0.5 millimeter in increments plus there's a selection of imperial collets as well some centers revolving center nice all brick chuck um, there's also an extremely nice um, uh, swiss made fn uh, three jaw chuck uh, with both sets of jaws um, i think there may also be a quick closing unit to go on on this machine it's got the manual drawbar but it also has a I think it's got a quick closer. I need to check. So there it is. Um, you can check out uh, uh, the machine. There's lots of photographs on um, on my website, uh, which is uh, just Google Anglo Swiss Tools, and you'll find me. Um, and uh, see, there's plenty of photographs there. Uh, please. Uh, email me if you need uh, any further information about the machine no problem organizing transport to anywhere in the uk this isn't available for sale outside of the uk unfortunately it's just too much trouble now to uh, to export machines uh, if somebody wants to organize it themselves then they can but um, it's not something i i now want to get involved with